Welcome back to Projects on Board. It's Warren here, and today we are kicking off in our nice little base. So, after last episode, we spent a hell of a lot of time searching for a dustbin. Haven't found one. So, I think what I'm going to do today is... Well, one thing I would like to do today is try and smash out a little bit of metalworking. Currently level... We're pushing for level 5. And I think we need 5 or 6 to get the next um well i said the next christ what's up and down here to get the first level of gates and that's something that i really want those big old y gates just to further protect some of these corners i think i also need to we're gonna have just a nightmare with this i know it already but yeah, I'd like to maybe fence off some of these areas just so we can sort of close the gap a bit. Don't want Zeds to be able to get in and out that freely, if you know what I mean. Wow, well, not freely at all. I want this whole place completely locked down. But yeah, you kinda gotta kinda gotta do it as it comes. But yeah, I think if if I can get some metal sheets up on these windows and then fence off these surrounding areas. These are already fenced off. Golden. Ah, brilliant. Guess as long as they can get around there, they can destroy the bins. Get on, my lady. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to farm one of those ASAP. Hopefully, there's one just a little bit further up. But yeah, there's a few little plans that I want to tick off. A few of them we're quite far away from getting through, but... You kind of just got to take it as it comes, especially these days. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking, so these big old areas have a lot of open space. So if I just check any big car parks, any residential blocks and things like that, we should hopefully be able to track one down. At least one anyway. As for the rest, kind of unsure where we stand on those at the minute, but there's bound to be seven or eight bins across the world map that we can go pick up and shift into place. Should be all good. It could take a little while. This could be a bigger project than it needs to be for no real reason at all. But I'm here for it. We've started it now, so we kind of have to finish it. Come on, fellas. Just a couple of steps. Come on. Easy does it. Kind of hoping this is the first and last big group of the day. I don't really want to do too much just killing today. Be nice if we can have a cruisy one. Kind of thinking about moving into one of those residential buildings, so there's going to be a lot of, well, a lot of bathrooms in there basically. A lot of stuff that we can break down. If that is a re residential building, I think this one is. Did take a trip down there the other day. Office building. Yeah, no. Not quite what I was hoping for, but. Could be a good place to find a big old bin. Fingers crossed there's one outside. Get out of here. Yeah, it's a place I'm yet to conquer. Don't quite know. There we go. There's two. Perfect. Don't quite know how many Zeds or what Zeds are going to be floating about down here, but it'd be nice if we can take out a few. Guess sort of starting with these guys. There we go. Should really switch out to the cordless drill and just fly through them. Nothing too crazy. Can we get a sneaky? Yeah, we can. Beautiful. I might try and fix up one of these cars as well. So there's a couple of brand new ones. At least the white one in the corner look brand new. If I can take one of those then, that would be glorious. Uh, do we have a cordless drill to hand anywhere? We do. Kind of just want to fly through these guys. Get the old shredder out. That's the first time in a while we haven't had a one swing off one of these. One down. And let's make it two. Beautiful. Anyone lurking in the corners? Nah, I think we're good. Maybe not. Back up on our feet then. Oh, the shredder is just unreal. Drill but does know when to come in handy. Come on, there we go. 
Sneaky, sneaky. Not playing no games today. Uh, what do we want out of this? That motor's quite nice. Don't know what we're going to need it for, but I'll take it anyway. One, two. Garbage bag for the win. Cool. Let's pick that puppy up. Take her home. Ah, still kept the crowbar. Thank God for that. Alright, there was a little white car just over in this corner. Fingers crossed. That has fuel, a battery, and starts. Even though it has a key. There's the puppy. What you got for us, car? Busted windscreen. Tiny bit of gas. And a fair bit in the battery. That's going to cause a whole world of issues. Can already see him slowly starting to shift. Try and pick off what we can. Might just have to move it by hand. You guys coming out? Getting a little bit of FOMO from your fallen brothers. Give them a box. Take out what we can. Grab our bin. Get the hell out of here. Now we might have to do some clean up first. It's the only downside to taking on big buildings. They can just be manic. Pure chaos, front to back. But we get there. Slowly but surely. It's nice when it's clear. Uh, that should just about do it for us. Nice. Let's grab our bin and get home. Okay, I managed to get slightly exhausted. And we've got a fairly decent sized herd following us. Never good. For some reason, that AI just made them flock to the base. Never fun. Always just causes way more problems than it solves. I don't know why they do it, but I guess it is just just the way it is. I think we're down to three hits on the first level of exhaustion. Fingers crossed. It doesn't take too much more than that. Cause there, yeah, there's a lot of Zeds on the way. Handgun has been moved to the bag to make space for that bin, so can't even rely on that, sadly. Kinda just straight into the deep end. There we go. Nice. All right, fingers crossed. There's a chair. Literally anywhere. There we go. We are in. And hopefully straight back out. Hey, old fella. I know how eager you are, but I just can't let you do it. I apologize. Hello, hello. Going to be a whole lot of this today by the looks of it. Not my plan at all, but there you go. And as for you, you can take a nice little chin stab to the face. Nice. All right, let's drag this bin around the back. Get her set up. It's going to be nice to actually have it up and running. If I'm quick, I might actually be able to do it before she crawls underneath. Just drop you on the ground and place you just there. Lovely job. Ah, oh, and it hides the car too. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Much better. A little bit more content now. Let's just check out any sort of mess back here. Doesn't seem like anything's moved in. Same goes for these corners. Yeah, I think we're all good. Uh, maybe not. Master of speaking too soon, speaks too soon once again. <laughs> Get in there, folks. Uh, you know what? Let's just do the smart thing here. Get out all reliable. Might be a little bit riskier, but she don't let us down. Hasn't done yet, anyway. There we go. Oh, and we got a nice little new beauty. They're definitely becoming number one, I can tell you that. One single axe, please. Thank you. Alright, well, I think our dumpster searching mission comes to a very small end for now. Uh, I guess we could check out this place up here. As long as we've got the stamina. 
So I'd quite like to axe my way through, but let's see how we go. This place just up here. Also half tempted to come back another day. Just crack on with some residential metalworking. You know what? This guy's inspired me. The world is mask has just drawn me in. Yeah, you know what? Let's head to the residential building just next to us and see how many baths we can actually break down before it's a big problem. All right, we're up nice and early and ready to go. We've got five propane torches on us, a tasty welder's mask and a whole lot of fog, which basically means it's the perfect day to spend the entire day inside. Can't really complain. So we're not quite decked out on the... Uh, thingy front uh garbage big old dumpster can thing <laughs> dumpster bin i guess that's what's called a dumpster just a dumpster we're not quite decked out on all the dumpsters we need yet but if i can get is there even going to be baths there are lovely oh hello we're going to need to clear out this entire floor I feel like that is the only way we're going to get through all of this. See ya. Waiting for a hell of a lot of party zeds, I can tell you that. Haven't really explored down this way too much, so not going to lie, a little bit scared. Just break down that bad boy, get everything shifted. So I'm not too stressed about metal working, but uh, not metal working, sorry, uh, electrical. But I would quite like to just get through the ranks a bit. Currently just below level 4. That's probably the highest I've ever had it. Impressive. But yeah, I know a lot of you are going to be shouting at me and have shouted at me. Shouted at me already about not collecting the water on those things. But the amount of water we have at home, it just almost seems a bit pointless. Do you know what I mean? I know what I mean. Oh, I'm not going to collect food as we go, but I will come back for food. I think that's that's a whole separate trip on its own, without question. Especially with, yeah, good bit of food. I believe it's on the other side. Uh, how are we looking for metalworking? 636 up to 688. Yes, yeah, way better than, way better than just doing a car. Rubber ducky. I think those cars are like 50, around about. Yeah, makes way more sense to break this stuff down. Uh, 714 up to 740. Not quite as good as the bath, but I'll take it. Might even be worth just breaking this down. So what was that, like 35 XP? Something along those lines, which is actually very good gains. So if I can clear, what is it, another couple of hundred? Ah, if we can double it <laughs> today, that'd be a good day. Be a long day, but be a good day. Let's just re-top up our water before going to Pound Town, baby. But yeah, food and bits like that is something I would like to keep on top of as we go. Not going to be looting, but you know, it's just nice, nice to know what you got around you. All these ovens have got to go to. Yeah, just anything that gets us close, closer to some metal doors and things like that. Metal door. Yeah, level seven is how far away we are. We can do it. It's just gonna, just gonna take a bit of time. I think I might just search for some of these as well. What the hell was I thinking there? Christ, I hear him banging all morning. I still, just decide to stroll through a nice closed-off door. Christ, that woke me up. <laughs> and, plus so this, got two nice bins in there. Can't really complain. Already red. Alrighty then. Uh, both of these have been done. Anything just on the corner. One Z down the end. We should probably take care of her. And yeah, that's our way out. Hello, beautiful. No more just walking through doors, eh? Doing very, very silly things. 
Let's get this puppy broken down. And you too. I like that it gives us electrical parts as well. I feel that the high, higher your electrical and meta working skill is, the more you'll probably get out of them, I reckon. Well, hopefully anyway. If that's a, if that's a mechanic, that'd be a good day. Be a very good day. Alright, I'm going to just try and clear through some of these floors. We're just over halfway through. Should be able to fly through it. If we don't hit level... I'll say 5 today, just to be kind of undercutting ourselves, but really I'd like to hit level 6. Get the next book, and then, yeah, pretty much smooth sailing for a good few days, which would be absolutely wonderful. Is there anything in these? No. Pretty much right that room off. We need to come back there. Yeah, this one's all done too. Food wise, nothing. Okay, on we move. Okay, I've just walked into a room and there was a nice wide open window and quite a few Zeds came flocking in. Don't know how many there are. I th think I only saw these four, but kind of wanted to capture it all just in case. Do not want to be taking risks, especially off camera risks. Nobody likes those. Okay, there's number five. But yeah, we did get a couple down just on the way through and I thought that was it. They were just flocking through one by one. And then I had to make a, a little wild run. <laughs> I'm so glad I did. And the numbers still grow. Give my fella. I know you want it. I know you don't want to be out in the cold anymore. Big hiking bag could actually come in handy somewhere. Not sure where yet, but... Ah, oh, here we go. Another Metal Worker magazine. Surprising how many magazines you find that you haven't read. I thought I had, like, all of them done, but apparently not. Apparently not. Alright, anything in the bathroom? Nope, not really. Just a whole lot of Metal Worker gear. See your toilet. How are we looking? 11.20. We're close. We're extremely close. I'm so ready for it. Kind of hoping there is an upstairs. I've seen an elevator, but I don't know about an actual upstairs. Fingers crossed. I know we're one floor up at the minute, but you just never know. Can never really count on anything in this game. You just don't know. We could end up having to fight our way to the roof just to fall down a big old hole again. Which, yeah, a lot of potential for it, I'd say. <laughs> I am a bit of an idiot sometimes, but it's cool. It's life. Sometimes some of us fall down shafts. Some of us don't, and know better. And I respect you people that do know better, because I am horrendous. I kind of hope this has got a lot of gas. There's absolutely nothing. Okay, we could be heading home sooner than we think. Juan, green oven, please. Nice. Guess we just continue through. Would be nice to just go straight to the top, find a big old automatic disassembler and just have a wonderful day, but we can't do that. This is not Fallout 4. We cannot get functional robots, but it's all good. Got to take little wins as the car, me. All right, let's see what upstairs is looking like. Probably equip a weapon before we do, I reckon. Ah, okay. Lovely job. Lovely job. Anything in here? How to use a generator? If only. If I didn't have that right now, I probably would have just ended the series. Be a very, very sad time. I think the longest I've got gone is like three months, and that was rough. Could not imagine doing seven. Hey, there we go. Was that? No, that's not not the ticker. Just level five. Wouldn't mind sitting down and reading a book. It's the only thing. It's been a while. We pretty much maxed out our skills as and where we can. A smoke bomb. Very nice. Thank you all. Alright, we are coming down to the wire on this propane torch now. There's not a lot left in it at all. There we go. Propane torch is out. Tiredness is setting in. Diego's going home. Kind of all worked out at the perfect timing, really. It's a rare sight, that. Let's just head on down wherever the stairs are. Hmm. Do not like being lost, I can tell you that. Where's that? 
That's the stair room. Lovely. Could just sleep here, to be fair, couldn't we? Could be a little bit risky, but I haven't destroyed any beds. There was plenty of food. Oh, no, we need to go back for the propane anyway. Yeah, all right. Let's go home. I always forget just how slow skill days can be. Especially when you grind and stuff like metalworking or electrical. Mechanics isn't so bad because you're kind of just stuck in one room doing a repeated process and it turns into a bit of a routine. But with skills like this, I don't know what it is, but I just get incredibly drained and almost just want to take a nap. Do you know what I mean? Don't know why, but it's got to be done. If we want to get those big old gates, it's annoying because the grind really doesn't pay off too well in my opinion but then at the same time I've never really bothered with it so could be the best thing we ever do also could be just quite a long process for not a lot of gain if you know what I mean but we're gonna gonna play the game anyway gonna stick it out and at least that way we'll be able to craft more gear so there's a whole lot of scrap armor and things like that that we can make and I think before we head north I'd like to be fully scrapped armored out and, ooh, scrap machete. Come to, Papa. I did refill all of those, yeah. But yeah, I think before we head north and try and tackle that next gun store, I'd like to be fully scrap armoured out and get our protection just through the roof because at the moment it's not very good. Well, say not very good, it's not good at all. We're kind of struggling on that front, but... It's okay, it's a bridge that we can cross later, and smashing out this skill in particular will get us there a hell of a lot faster than anything else. Um, no food down here, that's all good. We've got just a couple more bathrooms to go though. Okay, we've already done most of these, all of these, wonderful. Alright, straight back upstairs then I reckon, clear it floor by floor, wait. Ah, just that room, okay. Stairs, stairs, straight up we go. Didn't quite clear this floor, did we? Sort of need a bit of a bit of a method to it, I think. Otherwise, yeah, we're definitely going to get lost with how far we've got. Engineers magazine. Ah, oh, yeah, it's the last one we got to, wasn't it? I remember reading that now. And we can also have some on the road spag bowl. Thank you, flat. Low toilet. It's just the baths we want, really. 2.15. Getting there slowly but surely. Nothing done down here. Should really do these chrome sinks as well. It's annoying because they do look quite nice, but... Skill is the skill. It is what it is. Kind of wish we just had a row of black fences outside the place, because that would make life so much easier. Another little one of these. Shift all of that to the bag. And, ooh. It's quite a nice little, nice little load. Mechanics level three is what we're after next. If we find that, we may as well take it. It'll definitely be at the post office just next door, but got to tell what you can get, you know. Take it as it comes. We're almost floor two down. We're not even close to level six. This is a very, very long process. I think, yeah, we're very nearly out of this too. I think, yeah, this is going to have to be the last thing we do if we can even do it. That's a very sad time, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not doing that. I mean, we're one step closer though. Not doing too bad. That is another metalworking day ticked off the list for a little while. It's annoying because I really, really want to crack on and get some done. But at the same time, I just can't do it for long periods of time without just wanting to bang my head in the wall. And I think that's kind of understandable. So I feel like in this kind of scenario, multiplayer servers really do come into their own. Getting, you know, just like having a guy focused on metalworking, guy focused on carpentry, uh, guy focused on hunting, things like that. Everyone having their own specializations just takes the crown. Absolutely unreal. But without the buff, it's kind of hard work. 
so instead of doing that now, I'm just going to crack on. Maybe drag another bin home. Or a car. Maybe a car. That little one just on the end there. That's the one that's coming home. You can absolutely be added to the scrap. The chop shop. That's what they're called. Ah. There we go. I'm not scared. <laughs> you scared? Come on. There we go. Alright, we've got 7% fuel in that. Reckon we can make it home? Kind of hope. Christ, it's 7 o'clock and it's this bright. That is wonderful. Honestly dreamy. Oh. Now that is very nice. I feel like that was a very lucky run, but that was just pure one swings. Our long blade has come along perfectly. So I feel like that is going to come into its own when we go up north. Those machetes are going to be coming in strong. Come on. There we go. But yeah, I'd like to, like to head a bit further up and check out a little army surplus store. So a little while ago, I was speaking to a friend of mine. And he basically said that one of the buildings in the corner is a gun store. I try... Well, I don't look at the little map project they've got going on. And I try to just learn the map as we go. I've looked at it in the past, obviously, but as soon as I start a run, that's it. It's kind of just out on my own on a whim and see how we go. It's my favourite way to play and it's probably the best way to learn the map. Just you know, escape routes rather than having something to rely on and look at. And yeah, he kind of pointed that out from the map, told me a rough location and I'd love to go and track it down. So over the next few days, I think, maybe not the next few days, next few weeks to months, I guess, I'd like to try and clear out a nice path to get up there and try and just see what we can do, see what we can find actually do some exploring up there. Could be over the next few weeks. See how we go. Let's just try and sneak this in nicely. Beautiful. Tuck her in and get another car ready to be broken down. See now this I like. This I'm fully on board with. I love every second of it. Breaking all these cars down is just something that makes me really happy. Don't know why. Really don't. Takes the crown, I think. All right, before I call it a day, I would like to get that next mechanics and metalworking book. So I'm going to get some sleep, head over to the post office, clear out what we can, and then, yeah, figure it out from there. I'll see you bright and early. Okay, good signs. The car did not bring any Zeds back, which means our clearance methods are actually beginning to work. Finally. It's only taken however many months of being here to actually come into effect, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. He says, as I said, it's just on its way down to our base. You guys, man, you guys are the worst. Ugh. Anyway, back to what we were doing. I need a level three mechanics book and a level three, level four metalworking book. We are flying through it as much as I dislike it. We are getting there, slowly but surely. All right, metal f level four. May as well take a level five and hopefully a level three. There's a level four. I can hear you, Mr. Z. Sorry, Mrs. Z. Might be dead, but you still got some personality in you. Okay, there's got to be a level three somewhere. It's annoying because I know that I've got one up at the farm base, but it's been a while since I've been back there. I would like to go back there, but I don't want to go back there just for one book. Luckily enough, we found it. Three and four. Do we have a metalwork and five down here? Metalwork and four. Metalwork and five. Brilliant. There we go. Lovely job. All right, we shouldn't really struggle to clear those out now, really. Mechanics is going to come a lot faster and a lot easier than metalworking, but we will get them both done. Either way, one way or another, they're going down. But yeah, for now, I think 
I'm gonna love you and leave you just there. So it's been been a bit of a slow day, but a necessary day. Explored a nice new residential area, smashed out a ton of metalworking skill, and found a few books that we can just, yeah, read as and when we need to, and not really stress about having to find them later. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to member support on the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.